So why do we talk about the Norden bomb site? Well, because we live in an age where there are lots and lots of Norden bomb sites, right? We live in a time where there are all kinds of really, really smart people running around saying that they've invented gadgets that will forever change our world. They've invented websites that will allow people to be free. They've invented some kind of this thing or this thing or this thing that will make our world forever better. And if you go into the military, you'll find lots of Carl Nordens as well. If you go to the Pentagon, they will say, you know what, now we really can put a bomb inside a pickle barrel at 20,000 feet. And you know what, it's true. They actually can do that now. But we need to be very clear about how little that means. In the Iraq War, at the beginning of the first Iraq War, the U.S. military, the Air Force, sent two squadrons of, of F-15E fighter eagles to the Iraqi desert, equipped with these $5 million cameras that allowed them to see the entire desert floor. And their mission was to find and to destroy, remember the Scud missile launchers? Those, those, those surface-to-air missiles that the Iraqis were launching at the Israelis? The mission of that two squadrons was to get rid of all the Scud missile launchers. And so they flew missions day and night, and they dropped thousands of bombs, and they fired thousands of missiles in an attempt to get rid of this particular scourge. And after the war was over, there was an audit done, as the Army always does, the Air Force always does, and they asked the question, how many Scuds did we actually destroy? You know what the answer was? Zero, right? Not a single one. Now, why is that? Is it because their weapons weren't accurate? Oh, no. They were brilliantly accurate. They could have destroyed this little thing right here from 25,000 feet. The issue was they didn't know where the Scud launchers were, right? The problem with bombs and pickle barrels is not getting the bomb inside the pickle barrel, it's knowing how to find the pickle barrel, right? That's always been the harder problem when it comes to fighting war.